Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're gonna be testing out something called the Velvetizer. And this is a really crazy strange product and I didn't really know what it was for until I dug around and actually did a little bit of research. And now that I know what it is, I'm like, ah, uh, you're strange. Why have there not been more videos about this? So this is a powder that is new from Urban Decay. This is a translucent mix in medium. So what you can do is not only set your foundation with this velvety powder that is translucent, but you can actually mix it in to your foundation. So I have a bowl right here and I have my liquid foundation. I'm gonna do a little bit of this business, a little bit of this business, stir it all together and pile it on my face and see if I get any type of a different effect as far as how long the foundation wears, if it gets less shiny, I'm gonna do check-ins and then of course wrap things up by giving you guys the lowdown at the end of the day and see if this is worth the splurge to make your foundation maybe look better longer, that whole kind of a thing. Does that make sense? Am I even making sense? Why do I feel like I'm gonna like bake a cake for my face? but you don't want to cake your face. I'm confused. Somebody help me. Why would I put powder in my foundation? Don't you put powder after? Oh my God, this breaks so many rules. Okay, see this is fresh. I haven't been playing with it. I haven't seen it. I haven't even touched it, felt it, none of that. So let's just like kind of go in here. Almost kind of a yellowish tint translucent powder. Oh yes, that is very soft actually. That's a lot softer than I thought it would be. It's not cheap guys, it's $34 for the jar and the reviews on here are really good. It does say that you can use this on top of your foundation for a velvety finish or you can mix this in, which is what we're gonna do. Actually, we're gonna do both because more is more. I keep reading the same line over again and I just can't wrap my brain around it. Simply mix a dime size amount of this product into naked skin liquid makeup or whatever your favorite liquid foundation is to create an extra velvety feel, a beautiful matte finish and added coverage or use alone as finishing powder. Um, so it's gonna give me added coverage. <laughs> okay, I like that. I'm a full coverage kind of a girl. So uh, yeah, let's get to town. I'm gonna scooch you guys in a little bit closer so that we can all take a look at my pores and see what this foundation magic is all about. Step one, I'm going to prime my face and try to minimize some of my pores. I'm just gonna take a little bit of Benefit's Porefessional and press this into my skin. I always prime. You guys know whenever I'm testing out foundation or anything like that, I try to keep my routine the same as I would on any other day. So that's why I'm still using my primer. Let's do this. I have a mixing bowl in front of me, which is perfect because I actually like mixing two of these foundation shades together. I have 60W and 40W from Koki Cosmetics. This is the HD foundation. I'm gonna take two pumps of each. Actually, I'm gonna take like three maybe. So I got a little foundation in there. Why am I nervous to do this? How, what's a dime size amount? I'm gonna kind of put it in my hand first so that I can measure it better. So that's like about enough, I think. So I'm just gonna put that in there. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's like we're having a cooking class on my channel. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a makeup brush, which is so multi-purpose at the moment, and I'm actually gonna use it to stir this all together. This could change our lives, guys. This could be like a new thing. Surprisingly, that mixed right in. I thought it would be kind of clumpy, like you know when you mix a little flour into whatever you are baking, you know, any of the wet material and it'd be all like hard to mix. That actually just mixed up right away. So I'm gonna take a dampened beauty blender and I'm just gonna grab some of the foundation and we're just gonna go for it. It kind of feels exactly the same as it normally would, maybe a little bit thicker. My air conditioner is breaking and it really freaks me out. It's one of those that's like on the wall in the beauty studio. <laughs> And it is hot here in California. And if that sucker gives out, all this makeup in here is gonna melt. What's really weirding me out is this is usually much more liquidy. Like I work with this foundation a lot and it normally has a lot more of a slide. And this definitely thickened it up. I never thought to do this. What movies are you guys into? I still haven't seen Wonder Woman and I really wanna see 
Baby Driver. Have any of you guys seen that? I hear it's really, really good. Okay, so oddly enough, this did make the foundation more full coverage and a lot thicker. So far, I like it a lot, but I wanna see how it wears because it definitely is heavier which is odd. I wanna see if it holds together, if it breaks apart. I'm also gonna use the Velvetizer to set my concealer and foundation. This is gonna be kind of a two for one. I've been trying out this concealer from Bobbi Brown. Look how thick that is. We're going for the full glam today. Okay, so I'm just going to use a tiny amount in the inner corner because this stuff spreads out really, like you don't need a lot, you know? And this is the Bobbi Brown Instant Full Cover Concealer. So far, I have been liking it. It's a newer product. Thought I would show you guys something different than the shape tape. All right, guys, here comes another big moment. There's only like four holes in the sifter. That's weird. All right, I'm going to go ahead and set my concealer. Oh shit. Oh my God. Don't do that. It's too finely milled to really bake with. That's so weird. It literally all like flew off of my sponge. That's so strange. I mean, it's making my under eye area look so freaking smooth, but it does not grip to the sponge at all. So I'm gonna get rid of that. And instead, I'm gonna use a large fluffy brush. Wow, that is so dusty. My makeup looks freaking flawless. Like this is a very full glam, full coverage, very velvety finish. So I get the name, it's very appropriate. Um, what I'm gonna do right now is finish up my bronzer blush, throw a little lip color on and I will be right back. You guys, the rest of my makeup is on and it all went on really super smooth and I don't know what is going on. I don't know if it just is this or I'm having a really good skin day, but everything seems to be working out. This has the smoothest texture I've ever felt in a powder. Now the container is already getting completely filthy. The four holes in the center means that you are signing up for like a giant mess when you open this up. So I'm not a big fan of the packaging so far but the product itself is just like the most insanely finely milled powder. It's even somehow more finely milled than the HD powder from Make It Forever. It has that kind of fluffy, weird, velvety texture and I never thought to put something like that into a liquid foundation. It's kind of making me want to try this with other powders. So this is an add-on step to your makeup routine. I don't know that I would do this every day of my life just because like mixing it up, doing the whole thing adds on time to getting ready and we don't have time every day of our lives to be like full, full glam. But this did work out really, really well. And I'm also curious to see, of course, how long it's going to wear on my face, if it's gonna stay looking this good all day long, wouldn't that be a miracle? So I will check in with you guys in a little bit. So it is currently lunchtime for me and uh, James is trying to sabotage my diet. I am officially really weirded out. The air conditioning in my beauty room is not working right now. It is super hot and my face is staying locked into place so good. Like nothing is moving. Everything looks really, really nice. And yeah, I'm just eating lunch right now. It's been a couple of hours. It's not breaking apart. It's doing a good job. I probably have food on my face and my eyelashes are out of control, but let's try to not judge. Um, yeah, I'll check in with you guys again in a little bit because everything's basically the same. It is a heat wave here in California and my makeup surprisingly is not blotchy and completely falling apart. Normally I would be a total greasy mess at this point and I haven't blotted, I haven't used any powder, I haven't touched up and this has been on my face for about six, seven hours now. So we're doing really well. I'm loving this trick you guys. I mean, who knew putting powder into your foundation to make it more coverage and more matte. I'm so into it, so this might become a thing. I think you look beautiful. Why, thank you. You're welcome. Check. Makeup is good according to James. We always have to have some James in every video. 
We are headed to go and get some coffee right now. Um, I'm picking up some fun goodies for an upcoming hot or not from the drugstore. So that's what we're up to. And I will do another check in in a few hours. Okay guys, so you're always wanted to know what is it that James does yeah, at work? What do you do? I hang out with you what all day. What do you do? I hang out with you all day. <laughs> nah, I work from home guys. We both do. That's why whenever you see us out and about, uh, we like embrace going and getting coffee, running errands, like getting out of the house together. And we truly are best friends. And besides, somebody's got to drive while she vlogs and Snapchats. Yeah, I never Snapchat and drive, and I don't that think so you dangerous. should either. That is so dangerous. Lazy and easy face mask. I think we need to try this. What do you guys think? Hey, Tati. Hmm. Do you want to change the prices? Oh my God. <laughs> this is why I probably should leave you at home. at Starbucks and they were the sweetest ever and it's funny because the girl at the counter she was like did you just get your makeup done and I was like yes this is amazing I'm like no actually I did it myself but it's so cool that you think it looks good enough but it looks like I just got it done because I've had this on my face for like eight plus hours so yeah that was really neat I love that if you ever see me in public say hello I love meeting you guys it makes my day a lot of you guys have been requesting to see more Puka. Here he is. What do you think of mommy's makeup? Hmm? This is one of the best makeup days I've had in a very long time. I am absolutely going to be using this product again and again and again. And even if I don't mix it in with the foundation, I am 100% going to be using this as a setting powder because it to the touch has made my skin feel incredible. Why is no one else talking about this amazing product? Um, I definitely have not held back on my thoughts on Urban Decay products that have not worked out for me, so do not think this is sponsored. It's not sponsored. Um, I just happened to think I had a really great makeup day. It was especially hot this afternoon and evening and everything stayed put. I have not touched up my face again. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, if you have oily or oily combo skin, this is a dream product, definitely worth checking out, something very different. If you have drier skin, I think this probably would dry you out a little bit. It just feels like it kind of sucks the oil out of your skin. It doesn't make it look crinkly or weird or anything like that, like it doesn't look dehydrated, but I can definitely feel a little bit of a difference compared to when I use more moisturizing products, but right now I'm loving it. I'm gonna definitely keep using it. I'm really happy that I found something that works so well like this, especially for summer, yay! So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And also I wanna remind you, I do have that giveaway going on from yesterday's video, so go check that out as well. If you want a chance to win a Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, what other exciting news do I have to share? Not much but it's time for me to go and be with my family. So I love you all so much and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Mwah.